There were some things that I was not aware of when I first started trying to work on myself. Today, I just wanted to talk a little bit about what I've learned from using the law of assumption, the law of attraction, manifesting for a while now, and just how that has worked in tandem with the spiritual revelations that I've had. Any of your goals, maybe you want to get a car, maybe you want to get a house, maybe you want to build a relationship with someone, and you're used to going out in the physical world and getting shit done in that literal sense, many of us, and me included, are tempted to just use the law of assumption as another way to control our lives. That is counterintuitive to what the law of assumption is actually about. We can learn a new thing but still not have integrated its principles into our foundational being. We can still be operating as a deliberate creator as someone who is out here in their masculine energy trying to go out and take a bunch of action and do a bunch of things. Inspired action is very very important part of manifesting but speaking as a woman I just know that there are so many ways to get what you want and it does not require you to go out and get anything. It simply requires a mindset shift about who you are and what you deserve. I mean, you know full well you could go out and get those things and get shit done that way if you wanted to, but I've come to a point where the law of assumptions really learning how to let go. It's learning how to detach from everything in your life and learning how to simply be in your own energy and things just start coming. The specific person dilemma and some people say you can, some people say you can't, some people say it's unethical. I've done it, it's definitely possible. Um, a lot of times the people you attract into your life are commensurate with your own self-esteem. If you have a trash self-esteem, you're going to attract people who treat you like shit. If you do not show up for yourself and you self-abandon, you're going to attract someone who abandons you. It's not manipulation or mind control, it's simply changing who you are and what you deserve. When you set those energy boundaries within yourself, you no longer have to fight with people and beg people to pick you and beg people to treat you right. You cannot make somebody love you. People treat you how you treat you. So if you love yourself, everybody else will love you too. There's no such thing as a negative emotion. And cultivating low energy for a long period of time and identifying with those emotional states will manifest. But just feeling upset or getting angry or working through things is not going to cause you to manifest something bad in your life, okay? The reason I'm saying this is because I've been through all of this. I have gotten to the point where I was neurotic and like looking over my shoulder, being paranoid that I was gonna like manifest something bad just because I was in a in a low state and I had those things I had to work through. And just remember to take care of yourself. If you're feeling like shit, feel that shit. If you feel it, you heal it. Oh yeah, people do not tell you. Sometimes while you're trying to stay in the state of the wish fulfilled, negative things or things that are out of alignment with what you have decided that you want for your life start to come in and trigger the hell out of you, right? You have to come down. You have to come down from the state and deal with those things. It requires you to do shadow work, it requires you to look at things that you don't want to look at right now. If you feel like something is triggering you, allow yourself to be triggered. There's so many other teachers that might tell you to do something different, but you gotta deal with that shit because if you do not look at that shit, you will become delusional. And this happened to me where, I'm not gonna tell you what I did because it's really embarrassing. <laughs> and I don't want y'all out here thinking like, oh, I can just use the law of attraction for this or for that. Like, no, it does not always work because the universe God has their own agenda and like they will use things to teach you a lesson. They will spank you real fucking hard. So don't fucking play with this. But you can become delusional from staying in the state of the wish fulfilled even when your present moment is requiring you to do some serious inner work and you're not trying to do that. The current circumstances don't matter. I'm ignoring the current circumstances. You need to be in the present moment as well. If you were truly in an elevated frequency, you would have no problem being fully present. Your ego is tricky. Your ego will have you thinking that you're still in alignment, but you've fallen out of alignment a long time ago. You cannot change anything outside of you, you can only change what's happening in here. And so I got to a point where I had fallen out of alignment, but I was still kind of driving in that direction. Like, no, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Things weren't fine in my present moment. And they just kept like getting worse because I was not fully present. And it was crazy, y'all. It was, it was really crazy. 
um go to my other channel if you want to know what happened <laughs> so you got to make sure you're staying present don't just be have your head in the clouds you know there's two different types of delusional and you can like be in alignment with your true desires with your highest potential and be chasing that dream regardless of what people say but then like there's the type of delusional where your present moment is demanding your attention and you're ignoring it because you want to like fantasize and so that would actually be counterintuitive to you actually accomplishing your goal in the long term because in that moment you're prioritizing short-term gratification as opposed to long-term healing and health yes you make your own rules for yourself in your subconscious mind but there are universal divine laws of nature that show up again and again and you can't alter those things with the law of attraction yes you can change everything yes you can do anything everything is possible all realities exist but don't get yourself hurt <laughs> ultimately the universe has your best interest in mind and it knows better than you and me what is best for all of us there's so many times when like i thought i knew what i wanted and I used the law of assumption, I manifested whatever reality I wanted to experience and I realized that that wasn't what I wanted. I wanted to feel powerful enough to get it. I didn't really want that physical object or that tangible outcome. The most important thing is feeling good within yourself and that's why I'm grateful that I've, I had a spiritual practice while using the law of assumption because it's good to ground yourself in the universal principles just so you remember that it's not always about getting stuff or getting to a point where you're better than how you used to be or making a certain person commit to you or getting a certain amount of money in the bank. It's more about feeling good, feeling powerful, and knowing your worth and just having fun. Life is so not serious. You don't have to stress yourself out and just be affirming, affirming, affirming and stressing and spiraling about how can I change my life? Because that was me, bro. It was embarrassing, dude. I was literally out here like, I have to change my life. I have to change my identity right now. And it's like, you know what? Who you are right now is valid too. And there's some people who live their whole lives and die and they wish they were you, where you are right now today. Not you in 10 years, but you right now today is somebody else's dream. So just always remember to practice your gratitude. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope this was helpful.